I have a Django application here which I called DocStore. DocStore has a navigation menu on the top and a couple of views. What I want to do is that every time I change a page, let's say I go to Documents, I want this menu item to become active or highlighted. Same for About, Home and Services menu. In this lesson, we will explore two common solutions for this problem. Let's start. To make a menu item active, let's say Documents, I need to add a CSS class to it. So here's HTML code for the menu and this is the Documents menu item. And to make it active, what I need to do is to this li element, I need to add active CSS class in browser you see now it is highlighted and if I move this active CSS class from documents to about about is highlighted so in terms of Django application we need to figure out a way that every time I change views so I go to home or documents this active CSS class should be rendered in correct position. First solution involves Django blocks. This solution works if you define your application layout in a base template like I have here and then all other pages extend this base template. So this is my base template and this is the body of HTML page and this is the navigation bar with menu items and in my base template I define an empty block which I called central content and all other templates they extend base template and they override the central block. A similar approach we can use for menu items. Let me show you what I mean. So for each menu item this one, this one, about and services I will define a separate block. So for home menu I defined a block called menu item home which is empty. Same for documents and so on and so forth for about and services. And in each of these pages, let's take for example documents, I overwrite that block. So when documents view will be rendered because it extends the base template it will override this block and place active inside. Same thing for about, services and index. Now if I go to documents, the documents is highlighted. I go to about, about is highlighted. Services, hmm, for services didn't work. Probably there is a typo. Let's double check it. So in services, I call this block menu item service. And in base, ah, I call it here menu item services. Services, services. Let's check again. Great, it works now. But solution with block inheritance has a huge limitation. Let me show you exactly what I mean. What I will do now, I will move this navigation menu into a separate template. Notice that all blocks elements are still there and inside base HTML I will replace nav element with include tag. So let's check now application in web browser. You see the navigation menu is rendered but highlighting doesn't work anymore. And the problem here is with this include tag. Django include tag works outside block rendering cycle which basically means that include tag does not work well with block inheritance and it doesn't work because all Django blocks inside this template will be rendered before any block inheritance take place. The point here is that Django include tag and the Django block tags are not very good friends. Let's have a look at another solution of our problem. For next solution we will work directly inside this file and we will take advantage of the fact that inside the context of this view we have available request object. Request object is available in context of this view because by default Django places this context processor. 
and the trick is that inside request object there is an instance of resolver match object which has a lot of very useful information about current URL and among others it has this URL name so for the home menu I will delete this block and I will write an if tag statement so in this if statement we check if the name of the current URL is index and if it is index then render this active CSS class name let's open our application in the browser and check uh, if, if this statement works just remember this statement is for home menu item so if I click on home now you see it is highlighted document no home is highlighted great this if statement looks kind of ugly what I want to do I want to move it inside a template tag let's do that I created a folder template tags inside which I placed land extras module and in land extras module I define a function which basically is a simple tag what is important for this tag is that it has this takes context argument which provides this function with this argument which is the context of this template and as I said before the current context contains request object and we compare the resolver match URL name with a name which this function will receive as an argument and if the name matches it will return active otherwise it will just return an empty string so first of all let's load this land extras in uh, our view and then replace this code with activate on function now let's check if this works great so home is highlighted so the same thing we should do for other blocks and let's double check it in browser great it works now and what's really cool about this solution besides being uh, elegant is that it works inside uh, this uh, nav.html template which by the way is included here in the base template i hope you enjoyed this lesson thanks for watching